<laughs> when in doubt, do the worm. That was a pretty hard fight. You really are good, Rhea. That was exactly what I was after. I even managed to think of a new trick I can try. Back at the inn, I was preparing to leave. As I was preparing to leave, Kilik and Shang La came over to see me and told me they were heading off too. We had been walking along the road together for a ways when Shang Ma suddenly stopped and turned towards Keelik. Okay, Keelik, it's time for our fight. The winner gets to decide what our ne next pact is. We're doing this now? Yep, Rei is here, right? That means we have a witness. This must be the fight Shang Ma said she had to win. Keelik slowly nodded, his expression one of concern. Very well, but I warn you, I won't hold back. The battle between the two warriors began. Their weapons struck at each other with blinding speed. Sparks flying with every blocked blow. Strike, parry, riposte. They fought like two dancers, each in tune with each other's movements. As the fight went on, Keelik began to gain the upper hand. Perhaps sensing her disadvantage, Shang Hua lunged forward with a desperate thrust. Ta! Keelik seemed to read her movements and deftly parried her strike. He raised his staff to deliver a telling counter strike when suddenly he stopped. What? This is where I win. Shang Hua unleashed an arcing slash at Keelik's midriff. He tried to regain his balance in time to block, but it seemed too late. Ah. In a flash, Keelik landed a blow on Shang Hua that sent her flying. Oh, whoops. Shang Hua, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Ow. Mm. Luckily, my sword took most of the impact. If it hadn't, though... It sounded as though she'd managed to block just in time. Even though she had lost, her skill still amazed me. Ah, oh, rats, and I'd gotten up early to practice, too. Keelik helped Shang Hua to her feet, and she dusted herself off. That last strike of yours, I hate to admit it, but that was amazing. Usually when we fight, it feels like you're holding back, but when you hit me with that last move, it felt real. So I guess I'm pleased about that, at least. Shang Hua. Thanks for acting as a witness, Rhea, and for the sparring match, too, of course. Something still bothered me about the fight. You want to know why I stopped before that final exchange? Well, hmm. Oh, I can explain that. See, I cheated a little. 
Looking slightly ashamed of herself, Shangwa held out her hand to reveal a fragment of a jewel. She'd used it to reflect the light into Keelik's eyes. Heh <laughs> Truth is, Keelik gave this to me. How on earth was she able to calculate the exact angle from which to position the jewel to aim the sunlight at a moving target so quickly and during an intense battle no less? It was mind-boggling to me, even if she had planned to do so in advance. You want Keelix, so you get to decide the next pact we make. Once we get home, anyway. Very well, Shanghua. I had no idea what their pact would be, but I had no doubt they would keep it. Almost another level up. Let's see, where else can I go that's close by? I go up here? Yeah, that's not too expensive. Bounty for scoundrels. Criminal invasion. Is this a random encounter? A bandit leapt out of nowhere to block my path. I had no choice but to fight. I don't think that's ever happened so far. Level 27, grow. Oh, that must be a mercenary. Bounty for scoundrels. I accepted a request to elim eliminate a black guard who was troubling the area. Apparently, the brute had already defeated a number of mercenaries and bounty hunters. Sorry for this one. Throws do more damage. Huh? This guy's using Raphael's style. Not easy to throw this guy. The soul of a warrior now lays here to rest. Definitely doesn't want to get thrown, that's for sure.
Oh boy. Close to the edge. Uh oh. Ah, oh, come on! I was winning too. The soul of a warrior now lays here to rest. Really, that hit me off the ground? <laughs> 